Good to see you, Danny. Oh, lovely up here. Would it be fair to say, and I think it would, uh, two years ago you joined EastEnders? Yeah. Right? Okay, changed your life. It's changed your life pretty much completely? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's, just, it's been a it's been a long old two years. I'll tell you that now. Yeah, yeah. But it's been great for me. No, I think it's it's been um, it's worked well for the, for both of us. Yeah. I think the show's turned around. And I think that, that they've given me some real gifts as an actor. Um, but yeah, two years. I think I've done three hundred and something odd episodes. So when you went to the audition, Sometimes. what was the audition like? And did you did you think I you did the audition? They wrote me up like a touch. Yeah. Wow. They wrote me up and said, "Listen, we want you to come in at the show, take over the Queen Vic." And at the time, uh, I was skint, and I just had about enough petrol money to get there. Yeah. And that's the truth. Really? But they thought I was a multimillionaire, and I met them in the hotel, and I walked in absolutely like a skint, not a bean about me. I thought, oh, they don't ask me to get my lager, because I ain't got no fucking go. <laughs> and they sat me in a phone and told me how great I was. He said, we want you to come in, take over the Vic, and, you know, you're going to have a really big storyline about having a gay son and all this stuff. And it was like, wow, I sat there and thought, yeah. like, I'm going to do a cartwheel in front of them. I thought, play it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you bought too early, you know what I mean? And then uh, and I probably I'll, I'll think about it. And then I walked out. And wow, I so a you couple made it that cool. Out, you yeah. made it seem like it wasn't. Oh yeah, no, I played it right then. Yeah. Why? Why? Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to look desperate. Yeah. And I was desperate. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, okay, now I don't know if this is true. I read something about the because you're now filming uh, the the Christmas special. So you're a few months ahead on EastEnders. Yeah, they're right? always yeah. Uh, I don't want to give you it away, but, but uh, I read, and I didn't know whether this was a joke or not, one of the producers said there's a special story like going on, they've had you fitted for a wetsuit. Is that, was that a joke by them? or nah, was that a joke. No, I'm not allowed to give nothing too much away, but yeah, no, it's a big wedding. So they said, listen, we're going to leave you this Christmas. Last Christmas we put it on, you full touch. Bit of a rest, but New Year's Day, I thought, oh, here we go, right? <laughs> now, the wedding. Yeah. So it's Stenger's wedding, isn't it? Yeah. So it's fact straight yeah. away. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. All, it's, it's not, not going to be happening. Nah. No. Nah. But it, it, it's again. It's another gift for me as an actor. It's a great. Yeah. I can't. I, I wish. I, I wish I could declare a lot. I really don't. I can't really say. Well, so give much us about a little it. bit then. Well, I've got no, a wetsuit, so, so that's just something. Well, so there's, so there's water involved. Yeah, but well, <laughs> not necessarily. Well, I, why would I be running about the wetsuit? Well, I don't know. That's what I'm here. Yeah. So there's water involved. I'll give you that. Um, <laughs> It goes a bit bandy, uh, starts off lovely, yeah. and it goes a bit bandy, and then for some reason I went away. wet. But how does it you go from a... wet suit? Oh, no, that's the thing. So I... you're wearing it under your wedding gear? Yeah. yeah. What? Well, we'll put it over the top of it. Oh, well, <laughs> well. How did you get a wet suit over a tie and all that? And you... Well, James Bond did it, didn't he? He came yeah. out of the water once, he's unzipped yeah. it, he had a dinner suit underneath. It's dark, but it, it, it resolves a certain storyline. Why? So something the old woman. something in the water, you need to go into... Nothing in the water, nothing in the water, but I have to get in the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's nothing in the water, why do you no, have to say, get in the water? There's saying in the water, there's saying in the water. And I'll get in it. You get in the water to find the something. To get to sort the you something out. Something. Sort the something out in oh, the water. So something's going on in the water. So it's happening in the water. But yeah. something you knew was going to go on because no. you came prepared. No, 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 no. no this Why is, are you wearing a wetsuit? Me, you don't think I've got. I'm not meant to have a wetsuit on. But you have. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, I understand. Yes. I, don't you, I don't see something going on oh. in the drink and go right. Whack a wetsuit on, bum. <laughs> Since I you're in the no, thing, no, you're wearing no, a wetsuit, no, 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 no. and they went, why the wetsuit? And you go, something no, 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 bitch no, no. You ain't meant to know I've got a wetsuit. Right? I see. So the wetsuit so is they, so really... They got, they got me a whistle oh, bigger, oh, so, that I can, so that I can get the wetsuit on under. I see. I can't tell you why not. Ah, OK. I'd love to. I, well, I, I, gonna... I just have got nothing but egg. If I tell you now, I have nothing but egg when I walk off the stage. Yeah, and be grief all the way. Ah, oh, sacked. OK, so here's the thing. Now, we're not really here. We haven't got Danny to talk about EastEnders, really, because he's got a book out. The book is called The World According to Danny Dyer, Life Lessons from the East End, because you are, this is out now, ladies and gentlemen, you are genuinely from the East End, of course. A lot of yeah. people have that kind of accent. They're not necessarily from there. You're from where? Canning Town, was it? Custom House, which is near Canning Town, which is worse than Canning Town. There was a place worse than Canning Town, it's Custom House. OK, and Canning Town's not great. Nah, it's a shit hole, complete yeah, so... shit hole. <laughs> but I can't knock it. It's made me, you know, what I am today. All my family's from there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've just sort of ranted about a few things, you know what I mean? But you're not in, uh, well, you're East still, but you're not in the East End as such anymore. Are you? you moved to Essex. Now, why make that move? Because I get the feeling the East End is part of you, is part of what made yeah. you who you are, and you obviously have affection and love for it, so why move away? Well, because I had a few quid, John. Simple as that. <laughs> but even so, it's poverty. So when you're in a few quid, you want to get out of poverty, surely. Yeah. Makes sense. You've got kids in there. And it's not giving it the big and nothing like that, but why do you want to still, you know, live on a cancer estate? And, I, I, you know, I did live on a cancer estate for many, many years, and I got quite famous, 
And I thought, no, I'll never forget your roots, boy. And all of a sudden, you're in a situation where your house is like Stonehenge. And then we're standing outside. It's not a house, really. It's a flat. It's a masonette. And then someone nicked me bin. <laughs> and you yeah. just sat down. You can't get a bin. If, you, if, you, if your bin gets chored, you ring the council and ask them for a bin, you've got more chance of coming around and fit the jacuzzi in your house. <laughs> you cannot get a bin. You can't, can't get them. <laughs> so I'd be bin chored. I thought, what was it? Who took the bin? Burgle me. Don't nick me bin. Yeah. I mean, who's his bin? Is his castle? Well, I was fucked, because I don't know it could be rubbish. Oh, well, <laughs> what were you doing with it? Well, I was going over the road to my mother-in-law and dumping it in her thing, but then she's got the hump. Yeah, yeah. Got no the one wants to see someone else putting nah, rubbish nah, in their bin, even nah. if it's a small item. Well, and you were like, whole bags, I guess. Every, every two weeks they come now, and all the nights, so it's aggravation, isn't it? Well, what's what's that about? Well, that's bollocks, isn't it? Always recycling, and all that. I know I'll get it for the planet, but ain't it fucking egg, It's it? annoying. Oh, <laughs> you put a bottle in the bin, it's all taped up, police wire around the gauge is done. <laughs> The uh, okay, so um, there, there's a lot of funny stuff in the book, a lot of stuff which I think is genuine. And there's one moment in particular in the book, one very touching one, where you talk about your fiance, because you're not married just yet, are you? You're on the no, verge no, of getting married? No, I'm on the verge of it. All right, Joanne, and you talk about her, and it's very sweet what you say um, about her. So, no, I love her. She's got young men in my It's always weird when you come do an interview and you've had a row in, in the day. What was the row about? Oh, it's that? all bollocks. I don't want to go into it, but. <laughs> I love her death, I do, but I'll, t I'll, tell, the, I'll, tell, I'll tell the murders is over, is that you're going to ask me the question about the wedding, and I ain't got a clue about the wedding yet. I don't uh, know what to well, say. Because she, well, because you were waiting for her it. to name the day, weren't you? Well, that's right. We're useless as men, really. It's the woman's day. I want to sit in the cars on my own. Yeah. I love her death. I'd rather go register office, have a couple of volivants laid out, and boom, done. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to have a massive day. It's a call, but I've done an interview recently and I've said, I don't know nothing about it. She's sorting out her indoors. She's got the zig. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> so she was worried. So that she's I got would... the up, so we don't talk about me on that gentleman tonight. I yeah. thought, I went, I won't. There yeah, you are. Kick off. <laughs> uh, I, know, I need to, um... I feel bad now. No, I need to make it. I need to, I don't well, have to fall out. I'm petrified of the bird. But what you're saying there, <laughs> the two of you met, am I right, you met at drama school? No, I went to school with her. You went to school with her? I went through puberty together and everything, yeah. <laughs> That's Together so sweet. at the same time. Really. No, uh, <laughs> it was a late like, start, mate, I was uh, <laughs> But you did drama classes together, didn't you? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. yeah I was in the same, same class. Was in the same and class. she was seen as being a better actor than you. Well, well better. She got an A, I got a B. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that was it. Course work. It's all course work. There's <laughs> all the spelling and all that. I know I noticed that up. But, um, but you, you know, were... we actually had our exam together. Yeah. We had, we'd done our like, end of, uh, I don't know, is it a term now? I don't know what you call it now. Year eight and all that bollocks. What is it? I think they still call it a term. Uh, but, um... <laughs> you... <laughs> So you were at school with the... So we got our exam together, yeah, she beat me. How long ago is this, then? I was, what, 16, so... About 10, 10 12 years ago? No, <laughs> no 20, 20, 22 stretch ago. OK, and have you... You forgiven her for this, or you've made peace with the fact that she nah, was I a think, better... I didn't give me the ump, really. I, you know, I, I was, I was, I was, she was fit. I'm going to get the ump over there, he's a young boy. Yeah. You're running about, you know, you've got a constant bone on, you're going to go, babe, you've got an A. <laughs> so, so tonight, I'm not going to touch your tits, all right? <laughs> No, you know, I was in love with her. I loved her. It was romance. <laughs> She's the lady. I liked her, didn't I? That was about the most romantic thing anyone's ever said on this show. So, so John, I'll be getting divorced uh, before I'm married next year. I don't think so. You, but you, you know what? Because clearly you're you are uh, not a warrior yourself, but you're someone who, on the on the surface, you are a certain kind of person, and we maybe make it just that. But you're a very sensitive person. Clearly, you're a I sensitive. Have a, I have a sensitive soul. Yeah, yeah, on my yeah. life, I am, and I'm. Constantly, listen, I live with, you know, I've got me missus with two daughters. I've just had a son who's absolutely off his nut, this kid. How old is he now? He's two. <laughs> he's off his nut. I, I, I don't know how to deal with sons. I, I, I've always wanted a son, and now I'm thinking, can I give him away for a couple of years? Yeah. Be... <laughs> this is young Artie, right? Young Artie. Okay. He's a beaut. I mean, he looks like um, he's in a choir. He looks a bit like Boris Johnson. He's got blonde hair, blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of stewards on that, but... Uh... <laughs> He, he's off his nut. He just wants to kill himself. He's, yeah. he's hell bent on it. He don't listen to me. Um, I, uh, I had a knock on the door a little while ago, and I was in my other gaff. Two girls at the door. Two nice girls. Right there when I walk off. I opened the door. and said, "Excuse me, you got a little boy hanging out your window. He's climbed out of his cot. He's done Mission Impossible hanging out the window." Oh. 
Yeah. I've dived to get, honestly, he, he's, he's unlocked it. He's broke the lock, wow. unlocked it. I bought myself a slush putting machine recently. Uh, it was a long move. Yeah. <laughs> Not just that he's climbing up and he keeps putting slush on the carpet now, doesn't he? Well, if you buy a slush puppy know, machine and then you've got a child in the house, what do you expect? Should, well, Why got, have you bought a slush puppy? I've got excited by over a slush puppy machine, yeah. right? You can't, I don't think you should be able to have slush puppies when you want. I think it should be a treat. Yeah. <laughs> The world agrees with you. That's why none of us have got one in our house. <laughs> I've done it now, and I? I can't buy one and show the kids and then take it away from them. Yeah. But he's so the, so the other morning, I thought I was being burgled. I could hear noise there. I thought, what's going on here? Anyway, I thought, you turn it off of a night, it's like swap machines, the bollocks, it's not noisy. It's not a tank, right? <laughs> I've heard it's got on. I thought, well, if you can't be a burglar, I wouldn't put the slash puppy machine on, would they? <laughs> I've gone down, he's down there, doing himself a slash puppy, turning his legs. Slash puppy, he's slash puppy, and not only that, he's put a blue in with a red, it was driving me mad. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, he said, you know, you, I imagine, can I guess, I'm just guessing, I imagine young Danny, when you were two or three, you were probably not the most calm. I bet you were. No, he's calm, mind, he is absolutely, he is calmer, to be fair. He's yeah. a beaut, I love, I, mean, I love my kids to death, but the the, the, the whole sun thing is a whole new, uh, the slash party thing, I'm not trying to plug slash party, I'm just like, come on the other day. Well, don't worry, because none of us are going to buy a machine anyway. <laughs> I can't the other day, I said to my eight-year-old daughter, she had a slush puppy in her hand. I said, how many yards? She said, nine. <laughs> Off a nut on slush. I was like, it's got to go, it's got to okay. go this machine. I want that phrase to be remembered. Off her nut on slush. <laughs> She was, she was off her head on slush puppies. She had nine slush puppies in the day, treat wow. them to a bag of wow. chips and a slush. Okay, we should point out other soft drinks are available. Um, uh, you know, but the big news, this, 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 we're going to move on now. I want to I wanna check one thing backstage, because Priscilla, I wonder if Miss Presley uh, is better. Miss Pres uh, have you understood much of what Danny said? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, 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 Priscilla, we'll translate when, you, when you're out here. Thank you. uh, the big news of this week has been the James Bond movie, of course. Yeah. Let's talk about whether or not Daniel Craig will be doing it anymore. Uh, various names have been thrown into the ring. People talk about whether we should have a Bond of colour, whether we should have a female Bond, uh, whether one of our current male actors should be a Bond. Your name, I don't think, has come up. I don't. I, I haven't seen your name on the list. <laughs> but I, well, I think you, you you would be a good Bond, and I, I wonder whether you would be interested in that. Whether you've thought about that. I would love to do it, but of course I would. The thing is, my odds at the betting shop is that um, Emily Blunt's better odds than me. <laughs> we can't the next bond, so that's a bit great. like you've had a bollocks, Not really. Why can't we have a cockney bond? Well, would you do him as a cockney? Of course I would. <laughs> well, let's play a scene here. So I'm Blofeld. <coughs> I kind of go, ah, Mr. Bond. What? Hey. <laughs> go go I have been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Yeah, I know, I've had my eye on you, I'm a spy, I can see you. <laughs> I like this point, we get straight to the point. We get straight to the point. Uh, Danny Black, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Black.